What's going on folks? It's K Spade the Prospect back today with another NBA 2K14 gameplay. This time we're in that My Team Water. And if you're following this series, then you remember in the last episode we ran up against a level 3 Super Saiyan Charge Cheese Taker or whatever. I don't even know what you call it. It was the most annoying game ever. I wanted to quit. And I really I fought back in that game. I could have won. And if you ask me, I should have won. But I didn't. And I wanted to quit, not because he was winning, but because it was just annoying. So this is my first time back into my team water. This is my first game since that game. And uh, you know, I want some revenge. Now, this next thing I'm gonna say, I wanna make sure you guys don't take it wrong. Sometimes when you play a cheesy opponent and you fight through it, it makes you better. Now I'm not asking you guys to cheese me if you run into me on the my team. Please don't cheese your boy. Just give me a straight up game of ball. That's all I want. But what I'm saying is, sometimes playing against cheesers makes you a better player. So usually when I give you guys a video, I try to let it be a certain element of suspense where you don't know how the game is going to end, but I'm not going to do that today. This guy right here, the lob or whatever he is, the splash, look, this dude finna get his butt whooped because I was fed up. I was angry. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. MJ starts the game off hot. It makes common sense. Feed the high hand. That's exactly what I was doing. Giving the ball to MJ. He was looking like MJ. It's crazy as that sounds. And this guy could do no right. So he tries to cross court pass. Melo's there picking that one off. And I got a bell out right here with the kickball violation because I'm pretty sure but he had his hand down for the steal, but didn't get it to go. Now, Melo's going to get that three-pointer right there, but at some point, Melo went through the weirdest cold streak. He missed like one shot, and then they had him on a cold streak. And then, with me being me, it got personal. I stopped trying to play the game, and I started trying to get Melo off of his cold streak. It was weird. So, the long-range rainmaker right there by Scottie Pippen. Long-range. Gives me an eight-point lead early. Now you see I'm playing as Tony Kukoc and I get the third right there. Big block. We're off on the break. I got Pippen. I'm going to slow it down. Wait on a few more teammates to get here. And I was hoping for a trailer to be somebody who could shoot. It was Rick Mahorn. Dang really what I had planned. Errant pass right there. I almost got him doubled up right there. He was using with the center. So I go up with my guard. Get the wraparound pass to go. It was easy. And also... Get yourself a Darius Miller. I like that card. I'm going to forever have this guy on my team. He's my dude. You know what I'm saying? If I played against somebody and we had to go bronze rosters, all bronze rosters, I would just kill. I would cook with uh, Darius Miller straight up. I promise you. So look at this. Free Iggy pulling the three. Excellent timing. May have been a little too far out, and they got Mellow missing that. See what I'm saying? It was weird. So still, don't matter. This guy, this guy, he fooled with the wrong person on the wrong day. So some of the mistakes I made really wasn't even a big deal. And get yourself a Darius Miller. He's banging that one down too. So 29-17, you know direction pass played me right there. I was trying to pass to the cutter, but you know what? That's the best mistake I ever made. MJ coming to the basket, telling Durant that he not the real MVP. MJ the real MVP, all right? Penny Hardaway coming up, man. Penny Hardaway is so OP in this game. The night that I live stream my, my, I often say my player. You guys know I call it that. But the day that I live stream my, my career, the guys in the live stream wanted me to open some packs. And I opened an Orlando Magic pack and I got a Penny Hardaway. And that guy is a beast. But we haven't got there yet. Fall back, Spade. Let's, let's stick on what's going on right here. Right here, the strong arm of the law. Look at that. Tony Kukos looking like a defensive beast out here. The strong arm of the law is kicking ass and taking names. That's what we doing right here. Andre Iguodala finishing that one. Man, look at me. Here's some own ball. You guys want to see the own ball? I told you I'd give you that from time to time. I didn't do a great job right there, though. Magic Johnson zigzag, bobbed and weaved. Your boy took me straight to the rack. What can you do when they, when they zigzag like that? Really nothing. I mean, there's nothing you can do. The controls are just too sluggish for you to be able to stop the zigzag. Help defense right here, though. I get the steal. I'm going to kick it up to MJ, and you guys know I wanted to stunt, and that is not what I had in mind. I wanted to throw it off the shot clock and catch it and take it around my back two times. I wanted to. You know me. 
I want it to show out. So he trying to come back right here. A little bit of a fight. And look at this guy's roster. He's got Magic. He's got Jordan. He's got Dr. J. He's got LaMarcus Aldridge. I don't even know who else he got. He's got, he got everybody, all right? But it just goes to show at the end of the day, you got to, you got to be on your A game. I, I'm not going to say this guy can't play. That wouldn't be nice. But I'm going to say he was having a bad day. Not much. Look at this. Step back with Dirk. All the way from Germany. Dirk, that's for you, Nike. Germany representing this game right here. Dirk stepping back, pulling the three. And look, I'm trying to see who all he got. Magic. It don't matter. He got a lot of folks. He got a better squad than me. All right. But he was having a bad day. And I was having a good day. I just came off playing the Super Saiyan Charge teaser guy. And, you know, this guy played me straight up. And, and you know, you know how it go. It be like that sometimes. Melo kicking it out on the wing for free Iggy. And the Rainmaker falls from the corner. I love this free Iggy, too. Give me Darius Miller. Give me free Iggy. Later on in life, give me Penny Hardaway. Because at this point of, of the uh, series, I don't have him yet. But trust me, when I get him, give me Penny Hardaway. Speaking of, his penny takes a shot at the end of the third quarter. Can't get it to go. We're going to go into the fourth quarter with a whole lot of momentum. You know what I'm saying? Whole lot. My MJ taking the shot, getting blocked right there. It's a bad shot. We get it back. Kick it back to free Iggy who makes it rain. Get yourself a free. It's too late for you to get a free Iggy. If you didn't get him, it's too late. Look at Iggy. Come on, man. I got this dude looking like a beast. Like, it is really no reason for me to buy any more cards. I love this team I got. I really do. So look at the score, man. 20-something points in the fourth quarter. Everything is going our way. Magic trying to do, you know those guys, they, they like to sprint to the baseline and take that money shot. Look at Iggy. Come on, man. It wasn't, even the money plays wasn't working for this guy. Mellow still rocking the snowflake or whatever the little frozen thing is. I wanted to post up. I couldn't even post them. I just go to the basket. Smart pass right there. Still don't get what I want. And I end up almost turning the ball over. But that's some bad luck. He dove for it with LaMarcus Aldridge. Look at this. That how to break the cold streak. Melo getting a shot clock buzzer beating dunk right there. But he dove with a loose ball with LA. And it hit him on the back. And stayed in back. That's unlucky. I mean, that's nothing he did wrong. He just, he didn't sacrifice a sheep to the 2k guys or something i don't know what's going on free iggy getting the steal and going to the basket finishing that one right there and folks i probably should have put a parental advisory or something on this game this one right here is getting pretty ugly i was playing this game it was giving me i was like man maybe i should put like what do you do when you up big i was afraid the guy was gonna quit i was like should i put my backups in and then at some point i just decided to power through so that was Darius Miller getting on the board again. This game is completely out of hand. Kudos to this guy for staying and taking it like a man, though, because a whole lot of y'all would have quit, but not this guy, and he's all right with me. So that's all I got for this one, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out till next time, y'all. Peace.